No. Okay. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I hope you have had a good break. So um, it's so great to see many of you here, physically here today, after the past few years. Um, my name is Yang Zhen. I'm working as product owner at Ericsson. And I'm Leon Edgeron. I'm working as software engineer at uh, Ericsson Software Technology. Uh, so today we're going to talk about network service mesh at scale for telco networking. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about challenges for telco cloud native network functions. So telco cloud native network functions, or CNF in short, require networking scalability and high availability. In addition to that, uh, CNF also have special demands on networking capabilities, such as end-to-end uh, -end traffic separation and isolation. Um, also, it is well known that a network address translation is problematic for some of the telco protocols, such as SIP or SCTP. Hence, there is also a requirement to support for traffic without NAT for L3 forwarding with load balancing as a service. Another important requirement is to allow for a cluster-wide VIP address as source address for outgoing traffic originating from application pods. Last but not least, to allow for high-performance accelerated uh, user plan traffic handling. So uh, those typical telco requirements are not uh, easy, cannot easily be solved uh, within the constraint of Kubernetes primary networking. Hence, like secondary networking solutions have been developed for, to get around some of the limitations of the Kubernetes primary networking. However, uh, the problem is that there is no standardized way for cluster-wide um, connectivity management. And, um, those solutions, like non solutions tend to be highly application specific. They are not technically interchangeable, non reusable, and not intend to facilitate cross platform portability. So, when there is a problem, we energy engineers will look for a solution. And uh, as an answer to the problem that I have just described, Network Service Mesh uh, offer a framework that allows additional plug-in network services that can handle uh, challenging requirements for telco CNFs deployed on Kubernetes. So what is Network Service Mesh and why Network Service Mesh? Network Service Mesh is a CNCF sandbox project and uh, the community very, has been very active, extremely accommodating to user needs and very responsive. Uh, Network Service Mesh solves complicated L2, L3 use cases in Kubernetes that are tricky to address within the existing Kubernetes network model. Inspired by Istio, Network Service Mesh maps the concept of a service mesh into L2, L3 payloads. One of the important aspects is that Network Service Mesh does not require any changes to the existing Kubernetes network and uh, can run alongside any CNI such as Calico or Multus. Uh, it supports for additional cluster-wide coordinated uh, connectivity for CNF workloads. Network Service Mesh provides a framework that allows to plug in additional network services that can handle telco requirements. And uh, on top of the framework provided by Network Service Mesh, we have been developing a project called Meridio. So Meridio um, addresses the typical telco requirements such as no NAT or VPN separation. The architecture of Meridio is designed for a variety of network services, such as stateless or stateful load balancing, external traffic attraction, and firewall. Uh, it is also an open source project published on GitHub. So Lionel will describe uh, more in details the design of Meridio, as well as the issues related to NSM that we found during the design and implementation of Meridio, and as well as like how they have been addressed by the community. Thank you. So first, 
what is Meridio? So Meridio has the objective to facilitate the attraction and the distribution of external traffic within Kubernetes via secondary networks. To achieve this, multiple strategies are provided to the users to control the different concepts Meridio offers. The users can modify traffic attraction with configurable external networks, for instance, VLAN or host network interface. They can deploy new network services and configure them with traffic classification which will separate the traffic into multiple different logical groups applications can subscribe to. In Meridio, everything will be adapted during runtime, so all networks and all virtual wire will be added or removed based on how the user is configuring the system. The last configurable part is on the application pod. A sidecar container is running to provide a gRPC APA applications can use to connect or disconnect the network services. And in the same way, based on this request, the networks will be adapted and the virtual wire will be attached or detached from the application pod to start or stop receiving traffic. To better support the Meridio design, extension and have been proposed and updated by the NSM community. As a default use case or example in the NSM, a simple point-to-point -point connection have been um, proposed between one uh, single network service client and one single network service endpoint. But this is not sufficient for Meridio. We're then using multiple forwarders that are providing di multiple different capabilities. And the first one is for the front-end service. A forwarder is required to connect the network services to the external gateways via, for, in for instance, VLANs. Um, using this specific forwarder, the network service endpoint will only exist to provide a control instance and will not terminate any virtual wire or provide any traffic. The second one is the point to multipoint. The point to multipoint is required to avoid exposing the full mesh connection and also to provide a single network interface per network service to the user pods. The traffic is attracted from external gateways by several instances of, uh, an, of, the, of an, the same network service the traffic can then traverse through any of the network service before it reach the user pod. And therefore, the user pod has to be connected all, to all available network service instance, forming a full mesh. As a, default, uh, sorry, as a temporary solution, we are using a proxy. The, um, full, a full mesh connection is created between the proxies and the network service instances. And a point-to-point -point connection are created between the proxies and the user pods. But the long-term solution for us is to use the point-to-multipoint forwarder since the bases are already in place in NSM and the next step will be to develop it in collaboration with the NSM community. Finally, the last uh, main design extension is about the policy routing. Um, the default routes in a Kubernetes pod are pointing toward the primary primary network interface. Also, user pods, user pods might want to connect to multiple network services at the same time that are handling the same VIP address, but with a different protocol. The outgoing traffic then has to be routed thanks to the NSM policies. Um, the policy routes are added based on the network, servi on the network service configuration. So as part of the request to NSM, the um, the sidecar container will specify the routing policies. And if the network service is updated, then uh, the sidecar will update the connection via a new request to NSM. And NSM will update the connection and the policy route inside the pod with no traffic interruption. So with NSM being used for cluster-wide connectivity in conjunction with Kubernetes, we have practically observed that the li limiting aspect of Kubernetes network can be effectively overcome. Uh, from us, uh, who are working in Meridio, we are very open to discussion on best practices as well as collaboration on the way forward. Um, for more information about Meridio as well as Network Service Mesh, you can find the projects on GitHub. Um, on the slide, you can find the uh, link to Meridio project where you can find more information about Meridio as well as to reach out to us. Thank you. Thank you.